Look, I get it. We all want to play the game a certain way. Everyone wants to have fun, everyone wants to enjoy themselves because it's a video game. And some strategies are more enjoyable than other strategies. I get that. There are some killers that I don't want to go against. There are some survivor perks that I don't want to play against. But at the end of the day, as a community, we shouldn't be shunning people for playing a certain way. In the Dead by Daylight scene, if you don't know, there's a lot of things that you can do that are considered toxic. From the killer side, knocking someone down and leaving them on the ground is slugging and that's toxic. Uh, just walking around a, someone that's hooked and looking for survivors that are nearby is camping and that's toxic. Only going for one person to get them out of the game as quickly as possible is tunneling and that's toxic. Running certain perks like no one escapes death that gives you a one shot down when all the generators are done is toxic. Uh, bamboozles toxic because it's just cutting off loops and survivors pretty much just have to throw down the pallet and run to the next one. Playing spirit is toxic. Running strider on spirit is super toxic. Rune on dying's super meta toxic. Pyramid head, death slinger, those are toxic. And then on the survivor side, running decisive strike unbreakable is toxic. Rushing the gens too quickly is toxic. Farming hooks in front of the killer is toxic. Teabagging the killer, flashlight clicking is toxic. Using the flashlight to repeatedly blind the killer is toxic. Going for flashlight saves, going for pallet saves, body blocking the hook is toxic and bannable. It's not bannable. Using keys is toxic. Exhaustion perks are toxic. The community wants you to think a lot of these things are toxic. When in reality, it's not toxic at all. How are you, as a player, going to look at someone who's playing a killer you don't like, using perks that you don't like, playing in a way that you don't like, and then be like, no, you can't play this PvP video game this way. That's toxic. That's against the rules. It's absolutely absurd. Okay, so imagine if they're hosting a Street Fighter tournament, and they're like, yeah, everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome, except for Akuma players. You guys are literally allowed to come, but we kind of don't want you here because Akuma's rushdown is way too strong, you know, we don't really want Akuma players here. You can literally come, but you know, we, we don't really approve of it. No tournament's ever going to say that. Or imagine if online, if you're playing, you know, you're playing ranked online in Street Fighter, and the general consensus, or like what was considered fair or balanced, is that Guile players can only throw three sonic booms at a time and you as a Guile player are expected by everyone else online to only throw three sonic booms before walking forward and you can't throw any more than that or you're just gonna get a bunch of hate mail and everyone's gonna block your account so you can't find games anymore. In these games, if you can kill the opponent without like grabbing their controller and chucking it across the room, it's allowed. If you can camp someone out and kill them with fireballs and they can't get in, that's on them. If you just rush someone down and put them in an Akuma Vortex, that's on them. They lost the game. And for you to say that these things would be toxic, it, it doesn't make sense. So why in games like this is it okay for you to do whatever it takes to win, but in a game like Dead by Daylight, that's not okay? And there, I'll admit there are some differences. In a game like Street Fighter, pretty much every character can beat every other character. In Dead by Daylight, if I'm Leatherface, and I am standing in front of you, and I keep revving my chainsaw up and down and up and down, waiting for you to get pulled off hook, you can't escape. There is literally nothing as a player you could do to escape me. I will down you if you get pulled off hook. I will down the people going to pull you off hook. If you pull yourself off hook, you're down, and you're dead. And that's annoying, but that's not toxic. That's just how the game works. If it was so bad that it's considered toxic, then the devs will do something about it. And if not, then, you know, that's what it is. And the entitlement and mindset that people have that, like, as a survivor, you're supposed to let the killer chase you and kill you. And, and as a killer, you're supposed to let the survivors, you know, have chances to do gens and loop and all these things. It's, it's so stupid. And you guys shouldn't have that mindset whatsoever, I'll be honest. So you might say, well, Dead by Daylight's different. It's not a fighting game. You're not supposed to try as hard as you can. You're supposed to have fun and let everyone have their chance to have fun. It, it's a unique game. And to that, I'll say Identity 5, the Dead by Daylight ripoff. In this game, the meta is to down someone, put them on the chairs, those are the hooks, and then face camp them. And the entire game is just 
basically played around dealing with face camping. You have characters whose entire abilities are pretty much centered around either face camping or getting someone off of the chair, hook, whatever. And that's the entire gameplay and game loop. Every single killer does this. Every single killer runs no one escapes death. Every single survivor runs the adrenaline or the equivalent of these perks. That is normal and common and expected. That's what you're supposed to do in the game. People are trying as hard as they can to win. And no one's ever really complaining about it either. That's just how the game works. Why is Dead by Daylight different? Why are we not allowed to try as hard as we can as players? I don't understand. Now there is one fair argument that people say. And basically, the answer is, if people are just trying as hard as they can, the game's not fun. And that's true. If survivors are just rushing the gens as hard as they can, and killers are getting it down and just face camping every down and just killing and slugging everyone, the game isn't fun at the end of the day. You're right. Here's the thing. It's not our job to make the game fun for the other side. It's the developer's job to make the game fun at the highest level of play. If everyone drops this stupid honor cone mentality and plays as hard as they can to win if they want to win, and then the game becomes just so terribly unfun, then it's on the developers to make the game more fun. But if we're the ones trying to put this semi-functioning honor code in, the developers don't have to do anything because we're doing it for them. I would much rather have a game with a consistent experience versus a game where you feel guilty for putting on stuff too strong and then dunking on the other side, and then you feel angry because you didn't put on stuff strong enough and then the other side dunks on you. The entire point of this video is just for me to say play however you want to play. If you don't care about winning and you're just trying to have fun, then equip any perks you want and then play, you know, nice if you want to play nice. But if your goal is to win and you want to win, which is a majority of people playing the game, put on the strongest stuff, play as hard as you can and use whatever strategy it takes to win. The only thing that in my opinion is toxic and should be frowned upon is intentionally throwing a game just to piss off the other side. Otherwise, knock yourself out and just play. And I promise you, you're gonna start having so much more fun in the game if you just adopt this mindset. And honestly, the sooner the community as a whole adopts this mindset, the better off we'll be.